Zooniceratops. You say it Zooniceratops. My name means Zuni horned head. And my eyebrow horns come in handy, especially since I have an itch in the middle of my back where I just can't reach. Ah! Ah! home here in the Middle Cretaceous period, 90 million years ago. See? My fossils were found in what's now known as New Mexico. A tribe of Native Americans lived here called the Zuni. Zuni, Zuniceratops. I'm the first ceratopsian. That means dinosaur who likes to eat plants that has eyebrow horns. And I have another horn. See? At the tip of my nose. Not very big, just about the size of a cow. Ooh, so itchy. Wait, I know. Could you please scratch my back? A little to the left, lower. Yes, that's the best thing about being in a herd. You always get a helping head. Bye for now. Oops, didn't see you there. Welcome to my forest 66 million years ago. I'm Leptoceratops. Leptoceratops. My name means skinny, horned face. It's good practice for when I get older, when I have to bonk heads with other dinos. We stand, look at the other guy, and bonk heads! Like this. Whoa! <laughs> good one. You see, lucky for me, I belong to a very special group of dinosaurs. We have these hard heads. It's like built-in safety gear. I have my own helmet. Oh, and see, we also have a beak, like a parrot. And we like to eat plants. I can walk on two legs or four legs. I'm powerfully built. Grrr. I'm about the same size as a horse, but much more powerful. Here, let me show you. Watch out! I think I better keep practicing, but somewhere else. Bye. That's what I call fresh air on the open range. My name is Ineosaurus. That's i ne o -saurus. It means buffalo lizard. Did you know that I'm from what is now known as Montana? Only here, nowhere else in the world. You know, there's more to the late Cretaceous period than trees and stinky flowers. I'm a ceratopsid. That means I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. And I have a beak. And we have these big curved horns on our noses. Looks like a big bottle opener, doesn't it? Too bad there's no such thing as bottles in the late Cretaceous period. And I live in a big herd, which is great if there are any big dinos around that might be a threat. Just one of us might not be enough to scare off a big gobbler dino, even though we're six meters long and weigh two tons. But put us all together, and there is safety in numbers. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's always the old stampede!
No! It's not sounding right! Come on! I thought you guys wanted to be in this band! Oh, hi! I'm Pina Kosaurus! Say it with me! Pina Ko Saurus! That means plank lizard because of our armor plates! Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 78 million years ago. This is my band. We don't have a name yet, but that's Ying, that's Yang, and I'm Pin. Wait! Not until I say go. We're ankylosaurs. That means we're armored dinos. We also have big clubs in our tails for defending ourselves. Or making music. I wasn't starting the song. I was showing everyone how I defend myself against a carnivorous dinosaur. <laughs> when our band goes on our first tour, we're gonna leave from what is now China. In fact, we're the best known dinosaurs from China. We'll soon be the best known dino band too. Oops! Very funny. These spikes and armor help us to defend ourselves, but they can make it tricky to get around. We're medium-sized at five meters long. We're much longer than a golf cart, but we're only one meter high, same as a mailbox. Like other ankylosaurus, we have a beak, which helps us cut low-growing plants. We're like dino lawnmowers. Hey, what a great name for our band. Let's show them what the dino lawnmowers are made of. So enjoy the show.